Hello, uh, this is. Hello, guys, this is Mohammed Naeem. Um, I'm doing the coding demo for group seven. So now I have already established, uh, I mean, I have already found my, EP, I mean, my IP address and um, I have not set up or like, you know, uh, changed my settings to keep my IP address same. So it does change like right now or like today it is this and I just changed it recently. And I mean, it just got changed recently. So I inserted that over here. So, but uh, for a Windows user, I will just show you how I found my IP address right over here. So what I did, I, in, I typed IP config in the command prompt and This is what's shown later and this IPv4 line. This you have to look for. And I put that under my server class and that's my IP address. So basically server class uh, does job uh, like in two parts. So first when I like, um, so here, um in this code you i mean once i submit you will have this and you'll have to change it to your ip address manually over here and then build it and then run it okay so i don't have to build it but i'll just do it so if you're following like a uh, step to step then you don't have to worry about it now so what it does this is the listening method basically intaking method so it accepts or like intakes a message from client Plus, once I run this one, it establishes the connection from itself, from its side to uh, to the client side. But uh, in order to run the client class, I have to copy this and put that over here. And once I run this server class, I will have the port number, and then I will have that port number type over here because the method it uses over here takes two parameters. One is the server address. Um, it's kind of like an IP address, but since it, it is um, coming from server, um, once it runs, that, that's why the server address, you can just call it IP address, whatever you want. And, and then this is the server port number, okay? Now, this method, the start method, it starts the conversation. It intakes the user's uh, message, and then once I press enter, in the console, it sends whatever I have typed to the server and it shows over there. And that's when the, the whole process gets completed. And that's when the other half of the server class runs and completes the process, okay? So first server class runs, it, it, it gives me the IP address. I mean, I already have the IP address it shows me and then it gives me the port number. And port number changes like every run. Like if I run 10 times, it will be changed 10 times, okay? Now, uh, okay, so the so my output files. So I have the output files over here under files over here and under disk then you see my client class jar and under disk uh, below server class, you see my uh, my server class in their job, okay? So this is, a small explanation. Now let's see the demo. I will, okay, now I don't need to build that, sorry. I will build and clean this server class and run it. As I said earlier, this is just the half job done. As you can see, last time I ran, this is what the port number was. Now this it is this. I just copy and paste it over here. Uh, copy.
Here we go. I'll build this. I'll run it. There we go. Connect, connect it to server, okay? I'll say hi. Enter. Now this message is sent. We confirm it by going to server class console. You remember first we had this prior to running a client class. Now, once we run it, it gives all of this. Let's jump back to the code. So what happens is on the server class, um, by the way, majority of the things I have imported uh, from the Java library, so I didn't have to like, you know, manually like hard, like hand code or like hard code it in both classes. So don't get confused. If you see like, where is this coming from? You can just scroll up and see it over here. Or, or in the video, you can just rewind. Now, over here uh, under the server class, it is just checking whether IP address is null or if it's empty. So it will not run if, um, like let's say tomorrow, if the IP address will change tomorrow and I try to run this again tomorrow, then, or if I restart my laptop, then it will uh, get stuck in, into one of these. And it won't run, it will give you an error. So that means you will have to uh, find your IP address and then do it the way I showed it. Okay? Now, this is the method uh, that uh, completes the cycle. So this runs after the client class is ran. This is the buffer reader, okay? And while the method is not no, it just keeps running. This is my main method. So my main method runs first because it is like, this is the first 50%, which is this. And then the other 50% is this method once the client class uh, is compiled and run, okay? Now in, in client class, uh, this is, this, ha this uh, has to do with the message that type hi. It takes that and like, you know, it gets that connected to the server. And this main method, is that does the <clears throat> what do you call all the like port number and like the IP address that I said earlier? And to terminate it, to terminate it all at once, you can just go press the client and it will take all of them out. Or you can do both of them separately. This is terminated. And now this is terminated. Here we go. And that's all I have for the code. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Oh, by the way, if you're using Mac and you need to find your IP address, this is what you, what you need to do right here. That's it. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.